hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm showing how to change ip address of the computer using batch file so you can change the ip address of computer directly or running the batch file so for that i will be showing from the beginning just want to check my ip address so i have uh, an ip address in 192.168.205 or range i just need to check uh, for a free ip so that i can assign that ip uh, static IP on my computer just search on command prompt and ping one of the IP in that range for example 205.5 uh, or 10 so this IP is free basically so I just want to assign this IP to my computer using Windows batch file so first of all we will create a notepad file where we will be putting the command for the batch file let's put it static ip open it and once we open this one we have to i will be writing the command on the notepad you can just note down i will put this one in the description as well net sh space interface space ip space set space address space lan space static lan must be in the inverted column sorry inverted comma and um, put the ip address then subnet mask same like when we change it manually using the ethernet option in uh, GUI so the same option first it will come IP then subnet mask then the gateway so I'm gonna put 192.168.205.5 and the uh, gateway I will put 205.1 I think it's 205.1 um, and we can save it as a batch file just click on save as and click on all files and put bat at the end of the file name so it must be saving as a um, batch file I think I need to put um, inverted commas here just need to put it um, on all the subnet mask IP address and gateway and let me change let me save it again so it has to be updated to my static IP just need to see if we can change it or not right click on the bat file and run as administrator now the IP address it's fine there is something that blocks the static IP let me check open the adapter option uh, okay this is the problem uh, right now its name is Ethernet we need to change it to LAN because on the command we have given LAN as the name of the adapter so it should be working now you can uh, edit this bad file if there is any problem by clicking edit and once you finish you can run as administrator so it will run the command and um, the IP has to be changed. Now let's open the Ethernet option so that we can check if the IP is assigned properly. Click on status and details. Now you can see that IP address is already changed. But the, um, the network is showing a different one, unidentified network. So just need to check that my gateway is um, not one I think so click on edit and change the IP gateway to 205.2 and save it I believe this is the gateway that's why it was showing a different unidentified network right click on this one and run as administrator let's open the let's open the Ethernet adapters again. 
so let me try and it's uh, identified the network now it's showing network 5 that's fine which means we have a static IP and gateway is properly configured using this command just need to check the status if everything is fine you can see that the IP address is 2055 and gateway is 2052 so that's working fine now there are situations where we have to change the IP address to uh, DHCP as well so that we can uh, do using this command I just copy paste it only thing we need to change is source equal to DHCP I'll remove all the subnet mask gateway everything and we'll save it as a new file bat file or batch file DHCP dot BAT and in the text document save us type we will change it to all files dhcp dot bat and click on save so there will be a batch file on desktop right click on this one run as administrator now it should um, assign the dynamic ip on my computer just um, need to verify this one same like the one we tested for static IP open the Ethernet adapters on your computer right click on this one and check on status now you can see under the details we got a new IP 205.129 and uh, automatically all DHCP server gateway and everything is configured so this will be very easy after we configure this one we can just run this uh, batch file every time when we need to change it and i believe this video was helpful thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye